So we're going to learn about a new creativity strategy, and it is called scale. And so scale is a change in the size of parts of something. So we are going to use our same proportional drawing steps that we had recently. So we started with a light circle shape, but we're going to change the size of things. So let's say instead of a regular-ish U shape, we drop everything down a bit. And let's say we split this whole thing up, but we still keep this up here. And for the eyes, let's go ahead and make them a little bit larger. So a change in scale is any change that moves around the amount of any part. So I've got the nose part, and I'm going to go ahead and make this mouth a little bit more than it was. So I've got my three parts there. I've got my pupil and iris here. You can already see this guy's becoming quite a character. I'm going to add the lid, so I'm still following my rules, right? I've got the tear duct, I've got the lids, I'm going to push the lids, so I've got the eyeball pushing against the lids, I'm going to go ahead and drop down this, um, I think I'm going to expand this nose a little bit, so I'm going to open that up a bit, but I'm still using my same steps as before but I'm just making a change in the proportion. So a change in scale is really a change in the proportion. So I'm gonna have my ears, I'll still keep them the normal amount from the eye to about where the uh, mouth is gonna go here. That's gonna add a little bit to their length. Got the jaw. And when I get down to the chin, I'm going to have to decide how I want this to look. I think I'm going to go, hmm, I'm going to go the kind of oval shape today. So I'm going to kick that down. And here we go. So what's happening is that I'm essentially making a cartoonish character or some kind of a caricature. And that's actually really helpful for me because now if I want to change the scale, I can still follow my same rules as before, um, but then I have like the benefit of being able to tell new stories with the artwork. So we obviously want to keep in mind that when we change the scale um, and we tell a visual story, sometimes our visual characters can embody their inner traits, right? Like, so if I have a character that is maybe a little serious, like this guy, um, a more narrow face is a pretty powerful communication tool. Um, it's gonna make him look a little bit more uptight, as it were. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit to his hair. I can even add to that feeling by giving him kind of a downward eyebrow here and then maybe one that kind of peeks up at us you're in the library and he is not having all of your noise because you are being this is that old school librarian fella so that change in scale though is really helpful for us um, when we're using faces because now we can transform them in ways that communicate a much richer story and who knows what's possible then but i'm still following my same rules because it gives it that connection back to reality that i really want to have so that my uh, drawings then still reference the lived experience that we all share so for today's work I'm going to have you draw a proportional face as we've been, but this time I want you to alter the scale. So maybe think about 
um, parts and pieces that could be bigger or smaller. So like the eyes could be um, bigger or the same or smaller. The nose could be bigger or the same or smaller. So you can kind of think about this, um, the length, the length, the width, right? All, any of those things could be bigger, same, or smaller, ears. And by making those changes, whatever choices you make, you're going to end up with a completely new character that I wouldn't be able to predict, but I am excited to see.